I want to say thank you for being here. Shout out to every last one of you. The show just started, y'all, and we already got great people supporting what we do. And I just want to thank you two brothers. Abdel Rahim, thank you so much for your donation, my brother. And to my brother, Dad Away Man, thank you so much for your donation, my brother. I want to say I appreciate y'all. Show just started and you're showing love. That let me know you're happy to see me. I'm happy to see y'all. Flat motherfucking power. Big shout out to my brother, Adrian Morrow. Thank you for that donation, my brother. He said, cowboy breakfast on me, baby. <laughs> yeah, hey, you, you're a real one if you know about that. You remember that stream? Yeah, man, that's that cowboy breakfast. Matter of fact, you know what, man? Just for my brother Adrian, I might have to go on ahead and spike my shit a little bit, man. You about to make me go and get on this brew. You know what? Fuck that. I'm having a shot for my brother Adrian Morrow. like swimwear baby and we're in there like swimwear ain't nothing but a little old, some light because it's still like three on my end and um you know i like to wait to evening time but you know i normally be so active around this time that uh what the hell long as hey when a nigga start off his morning with a cowboy breakfast it don't matter what time you you know pretty much started it up, but I'm glad I I got I'm not no fucking alcoholic in that um, it's just a shit I do occasionally. Um, salutes to everybody out there. I'm glad y'all in the building, and like I said, I appreciate y'all for the donations, my brother Adrian. I'm just having a little sake shot. If you ever been in Japan, they wake up drinking sake, man. Um, but uh, I appreciate y'all, man. I appreciate you. Today, let's get right into what we got. We already had a long intro. So check it out, right? World Star Hip Hop has, has been attacking Flat Earth for a while. And I just want to show you some of the stuff. When you go on World Star Hip Hop, you get a lot of anti-Flat Earth videos. It, it, you know what I mean? Hey, shout out to HITC. Peace and salutes, bro. Thank you, my brother, for the donation, Flat Power. That away man says salute to everyone, Flat Power, to everybody. Thank you all for the love. And for being here. Also, um, just in case, just in case now, I'm a, I always pin my cash app. Some people prefer to show love that way. But yeah, man, world star hip hop, you know, we know it's a government controlled platform. It only promotes fuckery. I mean, just the fact that when people say world star, you know that ain't uh, nothing positive with that. 
You know that when people say world star, it's some fuck shit going on. It ain't got nothing to do with but one race. That one race, it's so strategic and targeted at one group of people to maintain a status quo. It is just fucking ridiculous how boule control this site is. And it is just toxic to our people. Like I said, screaming world star automatically we know is some bullshit. Like the name world star itself is associated with people getting beat the hell up, trampled, uh, just life changing negative behavior and toxicity. So we don't, I mean, seeing world star go against anything that's for our people good or their enlightenment or them thinking outside the box or doing anything other than the status quo norm. What can I say? You just shouldn't hold world star to that standard because they're controlled by black Freemasons and the boule and they working with the enemy to keep their people in a damn stupidity cycle. So that's prob that's it for, for World Star in a nutshell. It don't need a big intro because World Star is just if you're born in the 2000s, I don't have to tell you much about it. Now, so we see there's a bunch of anti flat earth propaganda all on World Star. There's no good flat earth propaganda. There's 183 videos. And all of them is to make Flat Earth look like shit. Now, one of the most popular videos out of the 183 is the one we got right here. You know, I'm not going to sit here and try to respond to 183 videos that World Star is using for propaganda. So I decided, let us focus our attention on the one that got the most views, or at least the one that appeared from this screen here appears to have the most views. But also I wanted to do this one because it's very important, and it's the one that's brought up to me the most. It has the most views here. Let's make sure that true or not. Nah. It got, uh, I mean, that's the only one. Well, actually, yeah, for Flat Earth it is because the rest of these ain't really Flat Earth for real. Yeah. So, but the thing I want to point out about the uh, most popular Flat Earth one, let's zoom in on it for a second here so we can. This experiment was done by Jaronism. And there's another experiment that's done by Bob Nodal. Rest in peace to Bob Nodal uh, before he died. Now, these two experiments, guys, are the two that comes up the most in, like, world, when it comes to world arguments against Flat Earth. They say, hey, man, Flat Earthers actually debunk themselves, like, with their own laser beams. All right, drop a one if you're familiar with this here, with this concept. Let me see something. Uh, okay, let me find. Damn it, man, I don't understand how I have a video open. Just close on me. Hold on. All right, here we go. So, I'm going to just show you how big this is. This is so big, right, that CNN talked about it. Yeah, CNN got their own little spiel. Flat others spent to be 16... So... As we can see, CNN News 18, 7 million subscribers, right? CNN News 18 with 7 million subs, all right? And uh, let me move my chat over to the other side for this. Makes more sense over here. 
So let's just look at this, right? CNN News 18. Seven million subs. Let's check it out. Flat Earthers spent rupees 16 lakh on an experiment that accidentally proved that Earth is actually round and not flat. The flat. And if you don't understand her accent, we'll cut the captions on for you. Shout out to my brother Danny. Excuse me. So, damn, brother. <laughs> Shout out to my brother Delaney Black. Thank you for the super chat, Flat Power, my brother. I'm going to cut the captions on. She got a bit of an accent, uh, you know, accent. Flat Earthers spent rupees 16 lakh on an experiment that accidentally proved that Earth is actually round and not flat. The Flat Earth versus Round Earth debate is a long-standing disagreement between those who believe that Earth is actually round and those who believe that Earth is actually flat. While scientific evidence overwhelmingly supports the idea of Earth being round, a small group of people believe that Earth is actually flat. The very famous Bob Noddle is one of those proponents of the Flat Earth Theory. He runs a very successful YouTube channel devoted solely to the idea and is a member of the group. He spent $20,000 to buy a laser gyroscope to demonstrate that the Earth actually does not rotate. What he found in his experiment is that the gyroscope started picking up a drift of 15 degrees per hour. Hilarious, isn't it? It's obviously not shocking but very funny to me. Are you also a flat earth believer? Let us know in the comment section below. What are the chances of Bob spending that much money on a t on, on an instrument like that? And it pick up the exact number that NASA says. Now, when these experiments was done by Bob and Jeronism, a lot of flat earthers were mad at them. They were saying they are agents, they're working with the government, they're too smart to be making such a failed experiment. And today what I'm going to do, right, I'm not going to judge Globebusters. I think they've done a lot to wake people up. But I do want to have this conversation. All right. Uh, it's one that I strayed away from and that I really think the conversation needs to be had. Because, uh, if, if you know, I, I, I would like to just say that um, I hear what people saying, but I'm not accusing Jeronism or Bob of being agents. What I will say is that as flat earthers, I see Bob Nodal and Jeronism at their best all the time. I've seen them in debates kicking ass. I got Jeronism on my channel doing a hell of a job on the show, like kicking ass. He woke me up to Flat Earth. Let's drop a bomb for Globebusters. R.I.P. Bob Nodal. And shout out to my brother D. Allen Warren, flat motherfucking power. He said, bro, much love. Let's go. So. People are saying. How is it when they get this much money, they drop the ball when we seen them be sharp for free? We seen D. Marble kicking ass. He ain't never dropped the ball. On and off camera, consistently beating the globe up. And then people said, well, wait a minute. We see the same with globe busters until they're in front of a major camera, like with uh, behind the curve. That was a experiment on behind. Actually, this was this spirit. One of these experiments was from behind the curve. And this was on Netflix. I, I was mentioned in that documentary. A lot of people came to me. They was like, Brother Sanchez, this is fucking embarrassing for you. They mentioned you in this documentary, and it's a hit piece. People was pissed off at Jeronism, and even at the time, they was pissed off at Patricia Steer. Oh, I remember it like it was yesterday, guys. It was crazy. And if you uh, remember it, drop a FMFP in the chat room for me, please. So this made CNN news, and I just showed that to you. And uh, 
all these channels about the agenda they're not going to put you on there in a good light we know that you know the people saying it's about gerinism about globe busters had a good point but i'm not here to put my brothers on trial because that's i mean that's just me saying hey it's a coincidence that when the big cameras are on, we drop the ball. Because to this day, Flat Earth has been defined by our failed experiments and not by the good ones. Meaning that if you go to the biggest platforms online that has covered Flat Earth like CNN News and World Star and etc., that if you go to these platforms, um, they will have a bunch of failed experiments, goofy looking conventions that look like a bunch of weird people you don't probably want to be around. I can't lie to you. And what you will notice is that there are a bunch of flat earth channels with great experiments that debunk the globe professionally, no flaws. These don't see the light of day. In fact, how can they be censoring flat earth, right? Because they're censoring these good experiments, like the spirit level experiment by D Marble, like the Puget, the 10 mile Puget laser sound laser, laser test that D Marble did. Um, which we're going to play. Um, it's a lot of people that have done flawless experiments that just whip the globe ass, but every time the big stream people bring their cameras, they don't want to see those. In fact, they're censoring those on YouTube and all on internet, scouring it, making sure people don't see them. And when they do talk about Flat Earth, it's with the failed experiments, and it make me think, why don't they give legitimate flat earthers a chance that are doing successful experiments every time they bring a camera around? We're at our worst. And this is why people have accused certain flat earthers of participating in hit pieces and being agents. And when I say bring legitimate flat earthers around, this is not a shot at Jeronism or Bob Nodal. I can never do such a thing. They've been them OGs that's been doing it before me. So what I'm saying is grassroots, you know, uh you know what I mean. People that's that's you know but my thing is, you know, because I'm just saying my okay, I got to go ahead and quit beating around a bush and say with how I feel in my heart. There have to be a penalty that flat earthers got to pay when you're in front of the mainstream spotlight and you ain't perform at your best. Now, in the flat earth community, there have to be a penalty and checks and balances. That's just the militant, you know, the militant way to go, baby. You know what I'm saying? That you know where we trained all year for this drill ceremony. And we were getting it right in drill and ceremony when we was practicing as a flight. And now the ceremony comes and you start tripping and following and acting stupid. You gonna be punished because you waited to the main big event to be at your worst. When we trained every day we at your best, you should be muscle memory. This thing should be flawless by now. So that will be a penalty you have to play, pay in the military. And the small penalty, very small, that, that I think should be paid is that you should be remembered in the flat earth community as a person that made a mistake. We can't make an excuse for you. You fail. You fail. That must be said, and nobody should feel bad about saying that because that's the truth. If you want to participate in a hit piece, just know that amongst the flat earth community, we will always see you as a failure, and we can never hold your legacy as a one that 
you won't make the Hall of Fame, but you'll make you, you you'll make a uh, uh, you'll lead the league a few years. <laughs> you ain't making no Hall of Fame, but we we you you, you was rushing leader, you know, re- reception leader a few years, maybe MVP, right? What's what what's a uh, yeah MVP, right? A few years, there you go. But no, you ain't you ain't going in. A, see, in, in a flat earth community, the strict punishment that I'm setting for people that follow me. If you fail in the eyes of the mainstream public, you can't make the Hall of Fame and you don't got but one time. Ain't no three strikes. One time to fail in front of CNN, Netflix, somebody big like that. You can't make the Hall of Fame no more. You're you done. You can hang it up. I don't care how good you do after that. One time. It has to be strict so that we're represented right. Because if we come on YouTube and we getting it right all the time, kicking butt, and then the news come in front of you like, okay, prove the earth is flat. And you go to tripping and making us look bad and shit. Oh, it got to be some punishment for that. No, you just can't do that and we still, you no longer can be like a, that kind of, like I said, that's a good way to put it. You know, you can't be a hall of famer. You can never make the hall of fame. That don't mean you didn't have a good career. It just meant when it was time for you to rise to the occasion, you failed. And so what I mean is we're going to remember you by the failed experiment not by all the good stuff why am i doing this because this really hurt us this really hurt the community and there must be such a penalty we still accept you in the community we still think that you're respected for the work you've done but we still point to you and we want to teach new flat earthers what not to do i'm not pointing at I think the best thing we can learn from Bob Nodal, Jaronism, is rep- we, we want to look at them and think representation in the mainstream media. Now, I, now Jaronism woke me up. Probably wouldn't be a flat power if it weren't a Globebusters, and I want to thank them. But this is just my militant opinion because this here really hurted us. And um, in, in my opinion, right, you can get 100 yards all through the season and we make it to the playoffs and the Super Bowl and you start tripping. I, I fuck with the fact you led the league in rushing, but damn, man, you didn't do that in the playoffs, in the Super Bowl, when it really counts. And so you, you ain't as good as a player that may have not led the league in rushing. He probably been number 10 in rushing. But when it was the playoffs came around, he led the playoffs in rushing. He got the most yards in the Super Bowl game. See, see, I don't care about the man that was number one at the end of the season in rushing because the nigga that – is number one in the playoffs and Super Bowl is what I'm saying is what count. But I respect them both, though. It's just levels to it. It has to be this way so that we can make sure if it is people out there trying to do hit pieces, they'll pay a price for it with their reputability, their reputation among the flat earth community and all that. You see what I'm saying? So, and I don't, I want to give these guys the benefit of the doubt and say this ain't no hit piece type shit. All right. But I also want to say I can see how people, you know, could take it. I want to be fair just because I love, you know, Globebusters. I want to be fair. And I didn't speak on this for a while. But, you know, this has been coming up a lot lately about what you think about this experiment. I'm going to show you what I think about it today, which is why I'm live. Now, let's take a look at the experiment, and then we'll break it down from there. Flat motherfucking power, thank you for your support.
Splat power, baby. Let's get it. We have a backup experiment. We have a backup experiment. If you're seeing through this hole, through the next hole, and seeing the light at the backboard, or at 17 feet off the water, the earth is flat. If he's holding it up at 23 feet high and we're seeing the light, well, that's because the earth's curved. So I, I should only be able to see it when it's at 17 feet. Okay, go ahead and drive down there, Enrique. You're gonna hold the light there. Enrique, how high is your light? 17 feet. I mean, I, you know, it's his, um, there's, we don't see you, Enrique. Lift up your, lift up your light up, way above your head. Interesting. We have a backup experiment. If you're seeing through this hole, through the next hole, and seeing the light at the back. Backboard or at 17 feet off the water. The earth is flat. If he's holding it up at 23 feet high and we're seeing the light, well, that's because the earth's curved. So I, I should only be able to see it when it's at 17 feet. Okay, go ahead and drive down there, Enrique. You're going to hold the light there. Enrique, how high is your light? 17 feet. My bad, y'all. My fucking bad. Oh, man, forgive me. Yeah, forgive me. I've been talking a minute, too. Okay, so let me just talk about what I'm saying. The Jaronism basically proved the Earth is a globe here, but the Earth is not a globe. Some went wrong in this experiment that make a lot of flat earthers say this is a hit piece. I want to give them the benefit of the doubt, and I'm not just going to be quick to say that. However, I will say it's very fishy because the earth is flat. Well, let me just explain experiment to people who still don't get the experiment. The only time we're supposed to see that light is at 17 feet, according to the experiment with Jaronism, what he's saying. That's if the earth is flat. 
Now, if the earth is a globe, Jaronism got to raise the camera up to 23 feet to see the light. He got to raise it up. You know what I mean? The 23 feet. So the brother go. So he goes over there. He record the joint. And they don't see the light at 17 feet. So that proves that it's a globe. I'm saying I think that. Now, now, what do y'all think? Because a lot of flat earthers think that it's possible, right? That they were paid off to fail it on purpose. I'm going to tell you why a lot of people think that. If you think about this experiment right here, it's the same experiment that Jaronism did right here. Check it out. ISS or in the uh, in low Earth orbit or whatever you said. So I've seen them release ping pong balls in there and they just go everywhere. So there is no gathering of mass in the center. The ping pong balls don't come together and make a sphere. And you're talking about little drops of water that they do on the ISS. Tell them to do a gallon of water. A gallon of water will go everywhere. It's not going to hold a gallon of water in space. You just see them do little balls and then you're like, oh, if they do little balls, they must do gigantic earth size balls. No, that's ridiculous. It's not going to happen. The other thing is, um, remember when we were in school, what they told us was here's proof of gravity. And they took a bucket of water and spun it around their head. Remember that? Which is not proof of anything that outside of the bucket is hard. So the water has nowhere to go on the earth. The outside of the earth is not hard. The water would go everywhere. So it's not a good example to use the spinning bucket. Um, I was going to tell everybody, if you haven't done the rice test in your life before, somebody like Liam here or whatever his real name is, Henry, I don't know. He comes on my show in different names, but, um, Somebody like that doesn't believe in things like the mirror, like the rice experiment, because science says that you can't measure love or hate. But if you've never done it, take three jars, put an equal amount of cooked rice in each one, seal them up. You'll never open them again, like three uh, mason jars. And then mark one of them love, mark one of them hate, and mark one of them neutral. Set your alarm for like 9 a.m. every morning. Get up every morning, and you actually have to do this for real. You can't pretend, or else what are you trying to do? You're not proving anything. Go to the love jar for 30 seconds. Tell how much you love it, how great it looks, how edible it looks. You love it. You think you thank for it. Then go to the hate rice and curse it out. Have fun with it. Shout out to Peabody Grind. Thank you so much for becoming a member and a sponsor of this channel, Flat Motherfucking Power. The 30 seconds of you son of a bitch, you piece of crap. Right. After two weeks, you'll be shocked that the hate rice is moldy and the love rice is looks edible and the middle rice, the neutral rice, will look like in between. And that tells you so much about our world that we can affect things with our voice that this is why they put all the negativity on the news and racism and anything they can to get us to turn on each other because it just creates a shit world. Whereas we can actually change the world with just our voice. Um, lastly is uh, I want to show if you want to test it, we'll prove this to you. If you're actually, if this guy actually cared, he would go out and do this test, but he probably won't. Let me share my screen real quick and I'll be done. So this is the cheapest test you can do. Also the easiest test. It's just called a mirror test. Okay. Watch this y'all. Now remember during this experiment, it was a failure. I admit that I'm not going to lie for the globe busters just because I respect them and hold them in high regards. I think they've done a lot in the community. However, I do think at certain times when when it was time to really rise to the occasion in front of a big spotlight, I think that the ball was dropped. I will be honest. <clears throat> and for whatever reason, when they did this experiment, from 17 feet, they couldn't pick the light up. And I'm just saying, I don't know if they was on a completely level surface. They could have been on an incline. Also, some people say, well, they just could be a hit piece. Because it's a very simple experiment. Now, we know that the Earth is indeed flat because this experiment called the mirror experiment it's the exact same experiment that they failed over here in front of the mainstream. So let's watch this one. You got one experiment by Jaronism that's a success. It proves flat earth. But this is when no one's looking, mean when the mainstream is not looking. Then you got this experiment when all of the world is looking at us, it's a failure. And this make people think that, you know, they were shields, they were some kind of agents, but I, I always refrain from saying that and still gave Globebusters love. Um, there can be many explanations before we hop to those options, but I do want to be honest here with what happened in history and why this is important. 
I want to reiterate on the fact that we must have strict militant rules in the flat earth that if you don't rise to the occasion when uh, the mainstream is in front of you, you get punished severely. In gangs, in the gang world, they call it DP. Now, we ain't getting physical with you. We ain't a gang. But basically, you can be tough in your own neighborhood as a gang member. And that proves nothing to your gang. When you go outside of your neighborhood and you're pressed by other gang members, if you are pressed by a rival gang, if a rival gang address you and you're scared, when you get back to your territory, you get punished severely. Your gang really care about how they're represented on the road. That's very important. And in Flat Earth, we must be the same because coming among each other, proving that we so good at Flat Earth, and then when it's time to go out there in front of the devil, we don't rise to the same occasion. There must be consequences. I made the example that, um, I made the example that um, if we're in drill as a military, and we practice this all year round, you don't want to get to the ceremony and start failing when we rehearse this thing all year. So you got this is basically the same experiment. And we, we'll watch the one that was a success and we'll flip back to the one that's a failure and I give my commentary. So if you do the mirror test, all you need is a camera, a mirror, and two people. Okay, and you have somebody go to where there's a body of water. Monterey Bay works great in California. I don't know where else you might want to go. But this body of water across here, let's say we're 25 miles. 25 miles is 104 foot of bulge. If you don't know how big 104 feet is, it's a 10-story building. It's huge. It's like the Jesus Redeemer statue in Brazil, right? That's 100 feet. So in between two people 25 miles apart, they're supposed to be 104 foot bulge. Now, if you go out and have this guy hold a mirror, and you have basically the lights going to be coming obviously like this. The light rays are coming down. Oops, sorry, this thing's in the way. There we go. So if the mirror is coming down and it's flashing on this mirror, and then you have somebody with a camera over here who's just looking across the water and trying to pick up the mirror flash. The thing about a mirror flash is it's a line of sight observation, meaning, and you can go do this right now in your front yard. Take a mirror out with your friend, have the, start flashing the mirror, the sun at them, and then get behind something like a car, garbage can, anything. The second that that mirror is occulted, meaning the second that you don't have line of sight to the mirror, you lose all flash. So when you're actually seeing a mirror flash, and you can prove this right now, you will see that it's because you have line of sight between you and the mirror. Now go out to a water 25 miles apart and watch this person zoom in and pick up this person doing the mirror flash. Here's one that they did in Monterey Bay uh, with a P900 infrared. Again, we can show you where the cameras are. Look at this mirror flash. How, is, how are you seeing a mirror flash they're supposed to be a hundred foot. No, here's they're doing 18 miles, I think. So it's like a 60 foot hump, but 60 foot is a six story building. How would we be seeing a mirror flash from the other side of the water when there's supposed to be a 60 foot hump in between you? The answer is there is no curvature on earth. This should have been the experiment that they did on behind the curve. Because what happened was we basically bought a $20,000 instrument just to debunk ourselves and it was a failed experiment because both experiments can't debunk each other. It's amazing how the cheap experiment is the most honest one. And the one we poured the most money into, well, Flat Earthers spent rupees 16 lakh on an experiment that accidentally proved that Earth is actually round and not flat. The Flat Earth versus Round Earth debate is a long standing disagreement between those who believe that Earth is actually round and those who believe that Earth is actually flat. While scientific evidences overwhelmingly support the idea of Earth being round, a small group of people believe that Earth is actually flat. The very famous Bob Noddle is one of those proponents of the Flat Earth theory. He runs a very successful YouTube channel devoted solely to the idea and is a member of the group. He spent $20,000 to buy a laser gyroscope to demonstrate that the Earth actually does not rotate. 
what he found in his experiment is that the gyroscope started picking up a drift of 15 degrees per hour hilarious isn't it it's obviously not shocking but very funny to me are you also a flat earth believer let us know in the comment section below see what i'm saying and they take these experiments and run with them look at this one flat earth evidence that shows the curvature flat earth evidence that shows curvature yeah man they they took those and ran with it it got the community a lot of flack and i just want to give you guys the history of it i will say that this was always this is the best experiment to prove that the curve don't exist and this the one we should have done when the big boys was watching also why don't they come ever talk to d marble like this right here was obviously a failed experiment. Let me play it back and then I'll play another successful one. We going back and forth. Let's get it. Flat power. At the board, like 17 feet off the water. The earth is flat. If he's holding it up at 23 feet high and we're seeing. Shout out to my brother, Adam Geringer as well. Flat power, Adam. I'm gonna um, drop the link at some point. The light, well that's cause the earth's curved. So I, I should only be able to see it when it's at 17 feet. Hey, Mike, I see you. Okay, go ahead and drive down. Peabody. Enrique, you're gonna hold OG Dean General in the motherfucking house. Hold the light. You there. already know. Enrique, how high is your light? 17 feet. I mean, rest in peace, Rob Skiba. Let's take this thing back so y'all can see how it was a fucking failure. Even though I love my nigga Jeronism and, and rest in peace, Bob Nodal. You know, they've done a lot to wake people up, but I'm just saying, when the mainstream was watching at times, we didn't really rise to the occasion. And that made a lot of people kind of look at them guys crazy, but I'm going to still respect them. You know what I'm saying? But this is something that I don't want to run from. We're going to have a conversation as a community for that power. We have a backup experiment. If you're seeing through this hole, through the next hole, and seeing the light at the backboard, or at 17 feet off the water, the earth is flat. If he's holding it up at 23 feet high and we're seeing the light, well, that's because the earth's curved. So I, I should only be able to see it when it's at 17 feet. Okay, go ahead and drive down there, Enrique. You're gonna hold the light there? Enrique, how high is your light? 17 feet. So at 17 feet, he don't see it. Now he gonna raise it to 23. I mean, I, you know, it's his, um, there's, we don't see you, Enrique. Lift up your, lift up your light way above your head. Interesting. You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? Now, the crazy thing about this, right, is Enrique is only 10 miles away. And if they think that you would have to raise up the light above your head like this. From like this, the light like this is 17. If the light is like, like this, right? 17 feet from the ground. Up here, 23 feet. From just 10 miles away. Now do the math. Do the math. That mean every 10 miles around you, I would have to do like this for you to see my hands over a curve. That would put you on a globe earth that is very, very small. I'm gonna say that again. 10 miles is the size of the Las Vegas Strip. You're telling me, oh, if I took the Las Vegas Strip and made a circle with it from this street and, and made a circle with it like this. That would be the circumference of your globe Earth. You know how small that'll be? You know how? Because you're telling me I'm fully hidden behind the curve at 10 miles away. And I'm up under 17 feet of curvature completely hidden and that if i do like this and raise up 
20 to 23 feet. Now I can see over the curve. Do you know how small the globe Earth would be if we're? It, I mean, the, the amount of feet that it take for you to see me versus where you can't see me is quite small for a distance of 10 miles. That's very dramatic. Now you see me, now you don't. We playing peekaboo on a ball earth at just 10 miles. We doing this. Hey. Hey. That mean the globe earth would be hella small. If I can go to the end of the Las Vegas Strip and be over your curve. And you know how far it take to get to California? I, I'm just still on the Las Vegas Strip. I'm not even out of Las Vegas yet. And I'm hidden completely behind your curve. That will put you on a little bitty ball. Think about it. Like a spear is even all the way around. So if I'm completely hidden at 10 miles out, we can do the map on that 10 miles all the way around and I'm completely hidden on your spear. With that 10 miles, we can do the map and multiply whatever we got to do to see how big that globe will be. And it'll be very small. I wouldn't be nowhere near 24,000 miles in diameter. So if globalists want to use this test to prove the globe, fine. Just remember, you're proving a fucking golf ball. You said that our globe earth is the size of a beach ball. But if you're using this experiment, you're making it the size of a golf ball. You can't have it both. You can't have it both ways. Which is why when we do other experiments, we see the truth. Let's go to my brother, D Marble, Flat Earth Offensive. All right, so now to get started, let's look at our positions on the water. Now, Mark was at Owen Beach at Point Defiance Park. And you'll see his laser fade in on the horizon. Uh, don't think I didn't ask that question, Rashardo Park. It, it's just something weird about this whole experiment. It, that's why people think it was a hit piece. I just don't have no words for it. As flat earthers, it's just very silly to even engage in this kind of activity. When Jaronism really had a genius experiment over here, the mirror experiment, which I'm going to show you again. But let me show you another experiment that was overlooked in, 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 when they was looking for something to embarrass us with. Let's give D Marble his props. Let's go. All right, so now to get started, let's look at our positions on the water. Now, Mark was at Owen Beach at Point Defiance Park. And you'll see his laser fade in on the horizon. And I was positioned at Saltwater State Park in Des Moines, Washington. Now, while we're here, let's take into account what these two land masses would look like from my position facing towards Mark's position southwest. All right, so the distance between these two points is 10.3 miles. Mark's going to say in a little bit that he's about 7 feet above sea level. That gives us a target hidden height of 33.2 feet. I'm going back on again. All right, yeah, bring it back on. All right, yep. All right, let me see. You're about to head on. Boom, boom, boom. All right, bring it to the right. Bring it to the right. A little bit. All right, stop right there. Bring it back a little bit. Ah, oh, shoot. Hold on. Wait, wait. Stay right there. Stay right there. Yeah, let me hit record. Ah, oh, shoot. We're out of focus. 
Still see it though. Look, we're out of focus and we still got a picture on the laser. Now, I zoomed in, it kind of looked like one of those stars. All right, hold on. Let me try to get this thing focused again. But yeah. I see you, man. Here, point it back, point it back uh, to the left a little bit. Your left? Yeah. Yep. Bring it back. Just a, just a hair. Boom, right there. That's perfect. Stay right there. Stay right there. Um, honestly, what, what's your elevation right now? You're, you're in the water right now? Awesome. All right. Uh, let's see. I'd say, 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 I'd at this point, I'm anticipating that someone suffering from cognitive dissonance is going to say, no, he was more than seven feet above sea level. Okay, so let's say eight and a half. Now, where's the other 30 feet of curvature? And then somebody else is going to say, no, he's higher than eight and a half feet. Okay, let's try 10. So where's the other 27 feet of curvature? Yeah, stop it. So here, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to lean, I'm gonna lean down a little bit. Uh, it's like the tide's coming in, so hold on. Hold on, let me back this thing up a little bit. The water's coming in. Uh, yeah. Give me a few seconds. Back it up just a little. Then I'm going to adjust my uh, tripod to uh, get the... Yeah, this battery get the, the, it takes a lot of power to run that laser. Alright, yeah, turn it off for a few seconds, but try to keep that position. I'm lower. I'm lower this time. So I got the camera like at about three feet above the water, somewhat. Um, you know, got the tripod down low. So uh, let's see what you got now, man. Let's see if I can find you. All right, hope there's enough power. Enough power. It takes quite a bit. There it goes. Okay. All right, hold on, hold on. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hold up. Wait, 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 wait. Stay right there. Right there. Right there. Let me get you. All right, so, okay, so hold on, dude. You see it right here. All right, folks, boom. There's a laser right there, all right? My tripod is nice and low, you see me? Boom, we're 10 miles away. I can see that laser. Mark, about about how high are you above the water? Right at about seven feet. Right at about seven feet, and you're like kind of, um, pointing downward toward the uh toward my position then that's cool uh, all right yeah let me give a big shout out let's give a big shout out to christopher taylor and let me welcome you to the channel man thank you for being a sponsor of flat power tv and thank you for joining this channel. Appreciate you, my brother. So, yeah, everybody can see that I'm about three feet above the water. And, uh, yeah, we can see the laser just fine. Can, can't we, people? Can we see the laser just fine from ten miles away over all this flat water? Don't we see? Isn't that what we, we're seeing right now, people? 10 miles away. Look, you can see the laser. Dude, we can see, I can see the laser with my naked eye right now. Everybody can see it off in the distance. I'm not even looking into the camera right now. We can all see the laser together right now. 10 miles away, dude. Here, let's, let's get lower. I'm going to put the phone down here. I'm going to put the phone down here on the ground. And we can still see the laser. Yeah? Huh? Everybody still see it? We're on the ground right now. 10 miles away, huh? Do we need to get into the water? Let's get into the water a little bit, huh? Hey. Oh, look, people. Hold on. We're in the flipping water, and you can still see the laser. Huh? Huh? Checkmate. Checkmate. <laughs> Checkmate. That's game. That's game. 
That's game! Is it not? That is checkmate indeed. Definitely checkmate. Now, you notice that this don't make World Star. You notice that this don't make CNN. What makes CNN right is this right here, which is a very fishy and questionable approach when we got these two very simple, undeniable approaches. And I'm not calling Jaronism or globe busters or anything, no agents or no shields. I'm saying the people that are calling them that, I'm not going to act like they don't have a valid point. But I do think they're wrong for hopping that. You don't know. It, it, it could have been honest mistakes. Now, if you make this mistake more than once, whenever we're in front of a big spotlight like globe busters have done, that's when people start to you know, write you off. I still haven't wrote them off uh, because they have woke a lot of people up to flat earth. But with these kind of failures, when the camera, uh, camera is rolling on a big screen level, you've also turned off just as many more people as you woke up. Because the mainstream world is watching CNN, World Star, and this what they're taking, Netflix behind the curve. These platforms got millions and hundreds of millions and tens of millions of followers, some of them. And I remember when the Flat Earth community was gaining so much momentum and the momentum just stopped. We got to start to be censored. And, and, I'm, and I'm not saying Globebusters is a cause of that. That would have happened anyway with any truth movement. The only What I'm pointing out is how they censor the real grassroots flat earth stuff like this content that I'm showing here. This is censored. You see with the blue thing on it like that. But the stuff that debunk the flat earth, it ain't censored. It's not censored. It don't have the algorithm targeting it. Okay, go ahead and drag down. Look at the views on this. I want you to peep the game now. This is from a channel that only got 200 subscribers. I'm going to say that again, y'all. Think about the math. The math ain't mathin'. This channel got 200 subscribers. And this one video got a million views, let's say. Look at 10K thumbs up, million views on a channel with just 200 subscribers. That's showing you that the algorithm is promoting the anti-flat earth stuff. Because when you get a, a experiment done on a channel with hundreds of thousands of subs, like killing that, D Marble got 50,000 plus subs. That channel ain't got but 200. His video ain't got but 50,000 views on it. And this channel with just 200 subs on it got damn near a million views. And, and, and like what make one video better than the other one? Both of them is an experiment. One proven flat earth, one disproving it, making it look stupid. And the algor if you think the algorithm is fair, you crazy. The algorithm going to push the anti-flat earth stuff. And then the stuff that really proved flat earth grassroots content is censored. They pushed that back and they even admitted that on the news. So, I mean, there you go. I, 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 that's all to what you want me to do. So at this time, I'm going to open up the uh, give you all time to join the call line.
at this time, feel free to join. And as we let the people join, I'm just going to do my commercials and pay a couple of bills here. So people, let it be known that the Phase 1 Supreme Bundle is now on sale for just $35. Go ahead and get yours. It's a five bundle. It got the book, and it has all three of my recent pay-per-view presentations slash documentaries. So go to my website, brosanchez.com. Check out the Phase 1 Supreme Bundle. You can't lose with a deal like that. Don't forget you can book me. You can book me for 30 minutes for 80 bucks, and then I have uh, other prices. Just go to brosanchez.com forward slash booking and book me. Record it. Put it on your channel. Get it. Use it for exclusive content. Pick my brain. You can even book me and have me do exclusive presentations that you own and you can take those and really make your own YouTube channel and on that channel it'll be only bro Sanchez content that only you can find on that channel people will wonder like how are they getting all these Sanchez videos we never saw because they are saying hey man I'm booking you for 30 minutes I want you to do a lecture on this topic that topic and then they record the lecture and they can put that on their channel and they can monetize it. They can monetize it. I'm giving you all the game on the booking stuff, how you use it, you know, for the, the flip it, Get, you know, on some hustle shit. Oh my God. That's the game. Let's drop the call line again. To my artists out there, to my musicians out there, listen, I got good news for y'all. I got good news for my musicians and my artists who've been wanting to do collabs with me. If you one of those people that's been wanting to get beats from me, now is the time to do it because my beats are the cheapest right now. And let me explain something about the beat store to you. There are three different tier levels you can cipher between, like I'm doing now. You can go to Beats by Sanchez, which is a playlist of all of my most up-to-date recent beats in order. Like nothing but my best stuff. And then you can actually shop by the discount. In this folder here, you can do buy two or more for discounts. Okay, you will actually, yeah, you, you get two or more and, and discounts over here. You buy two or more beats and you get discounts. And, and basically, they're just different folders with the same stuff. It's just that the discount folder got a lot of beats that specifically I don't mind doing discounts on. And the Beats by Sanchez is just all you got to do individual. Some of the same beats over here are over here, though. Just explore it. Also, beat tapes. I got three beat tapes. For $99, you can get a beat tape with about 40 beats on it. And I'm not talking about the regular lease. I'm talking about the track out lease. Oh, my God. So explore that. I got three different beat tapes. Volume 1, Volume 2, Volume 3. Trap therapy, baby. Again, when you go to my website, go to the more drop down menu, go to music and beats and explore the beat player that I have there. And uh, you can cipher between these three tiers. So that's that's what's up. I got people on the call line, right? And I want to let them start grabbing the microphone. Shout out to everybody on the call. Thank y'all so much for being here. Go ahead and take the floor. Uh, we ain't gonna, you know, I don't know the order. The salutes to everybody, whoever get their mic up first. Let's drop the call link again. Thank you for everybody that became members of this channel today. We appreciate you, flat motherfucking power.
and thank you for everybody that sent in a super chat or a cash app donation. Thank you so much, flat motherfucking power. Speaking of cash app donations to my cash app game, I forgot to pin, I forgot to pin my link. Them the major ways they donate, super chat, cash app. Thank you for your donation. Yeah, click that link and come on up, man. I, I went over what I had to go through. It took me an hour to do it. Now I'm going to spend an hour and a half or two with the callers and seeing what y'all think. You know what I'm saying? On the matter. I always thought that was a crazy conspiracy within the Flat Earth community. But salutes what's to up, the people. Man? Salutes. What's oh, good? Man. Adam G, what's good, man? Welcome back, bro. Thank you for joining right. Bro, I know it's 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 been a minute, man. Um, but let's jump into the meat of it, and you know, just get right to it. Because mm -hmm. like we, yeah, everybody here has been here like more than like five years, man. So we really see it all go down. I mean, like I'm just gonna say there was a huge separation at that time between flat earthers, because not only did we know that the Earth was flat, but then we had like religion, and that super divided us yeah. uh, amongst, amongst all the channels. I even think uh, D Marble was a uh, Christian himself. But the thing is, is, you know, I'm just going to say it, you know, D Marble's black. So probably didn't get that much attention, even though that he did bring home the wind. You know what I'm saying? He's sitting down there on the water and that wasn't even his laser. And that seemed to be a big issue amongst all of us is the damn funding. It's not like we all have, you know, the money for a fucking laser. So then it then it got to be where uh you know all the all the big channels were separated but like some people weren't even doing funding for laser tests or anything yeah but definitely but definitely they should have Jaron and Bob Nodal you know I'm gonna I'm gonna say I don't I I know I know you said what you said man but uh I I I think they're snakes. <laughs> you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, speak so, your mind, man. You know, you I know well, you're a real one, man. I ain't gonna hey, you know no matter what you say, you 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 for sure is a, a respected real one, bro. We respect your words. I, I appreciate that, man. I mean, uh I'm on uh I'm on the the thought of uh they've been plants the whole time. And I'm just I'm just that way because I I know that Christians can be led astray like it's it's just so funny to me like uh how easy it would be you know for you know christian flat earthers because you saw how many every time that you know you know um someone who's non-religious would jump into their chat and we'd see like you know two thousand three thousand people jumping in and man that's just you know christians coming to church <laughs> Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, and, of course, I want, and you know, I was already looking like the black sheep. So I, I didn't want to do too much to keep looking like the hater, man. So, but maybe, but I ain't going to lie, man. That's why I said people saying what you saying. I'm not going to fucking push back at my people and supporters for speaking their mind because I'm not going to lie. As much as Globebusters done for to wake people up. When it came time to rise in those times, that's when people that and people got the right to have that suspicion. It, because think about this, Adam G. You got a quarterback right on the team. Now he fucking throwing that ball good the whole season, man. He the shit. And then he go to tripping in the Super Bowl game, just throwing pickoffs left to right. Like we played this team before and beat them. Don't don't everybody be like they paid that quarterback to throw the game. So it's a <laughs> exactly it, it, it's a rightful suspicion, yeah. And you know everybody's you know they this platform is cool enough that everybody can uh, really uh say their opinion but don't you know like don't go too deep into it, you know what I mean? But like I I'm just saying like I don't trust them, never really have. I mean, I don't understand why I've been saying it in the chat like uh, I don't really understand why they didn't stick to water tests. Yes. First, um, because there are so many still water lakes across the U.S. that like we really could have did. I mean, <laughs> who yeah. who was the, who who was that other guy that was going around? Uh, it was uh, some white British dude that like uh, he had moved here, but he was going around mm -hmm. um, trying to prove that the uh, the earth was flat and he was doing water tests. Yeah, I remember him. I forgot his name too. the British guy. Heavy accent. Yeah, man, I was yeah. uh, I was talking I was talking to one of my friends at work, and uh, he was just being an asshole, and he gave, 
of course, he is a globe earther. He has no idea, man. I just, you know, we were shit talking. We was at work, you know, doing solar on top of roofs and everything. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Ain't got nothing better to do than talk shit. So, like, me and him would talk shit about uh, each other, about, like, he's a globe earther, I'm a flat earther. We'd go back and forth. But uh, he decided to one day get on um, get on, a, get on that dude's uh, platform and talk shit. And then uh, he responded back to him and went and did a test. <laughs> Yeah. That shit was funny. That shit was funny. But anyways, I'm gonna stop taking up the mic. But uh, I am in total support of water tests, and it's good to be here and you know talk again with everybody. Man, I'm I'm glad to have you here for this bill, and and my brother Retton salutes to you, boy. What's good, bro? Peace, brother. Peace to the panel, man. Shout out to everybody on the panel, man. You know it's all love, man. Peace and love, man. What's good, I'm, Troy? I'm, I'm on my way to the house right now, trying to get yeah, to the yeah. house. And, and, I'm fall Mar- back though. and Mary Solo. And and you know what? I mean, Adam G said, let's stick the water test. Like, I'm going to show you how we know these globalists is full of shit. Now, the bat for level test got to be. How old? The bat for level test got to be at least fucking over, uh, I'm going to say, uh, like about. five, six hundred years old. <laughs> That's how old a bet for level test is, bro. That's old. And they never Vedic bring astronomy. that up. You, yeah. It's a part of Vedic astronomy. Very old. Man, I'm talking about, and it was done right here in, in, in was that in England or America in that channel, the bet for whatever channel that was? I'm going to pull it up because, I, listen, Akinator. I'm not saying he's an agent, but I'm not stopping my people from saying it. And I'm not going to make it no thing where the community fall out about it because I think Jaron got thick skin and that he know uh, that he didn't rise to the occasion on those experiments. And you just got to as this is what you got to do, man. If I go and debate on a big ass platform with a million plus subs on it tomorrow, and uh, I start tripping, making dumb arguments, doing crazy stuff. All of my people going to say, man, that big platform paid Sanchez off. Because he be going in when on the little stuff. But the big time when we thinking he finna kick ass on the big stage and it's a face palm. I wouldn't even be mad at people for saying that about me, even though I know that ain't true. Because I can see how they would say that, you know, and you just got to wear that one that comes with losing on it. That's why you got to rise to the occasion on these big platforms. I still uh, think Jaronism and Bob Noto should be respected um, as legends in the community. But like I said, if there's levels to this shit, one of the punishments for failing on a big time stage should be you ain't qualified for the Hall of Fame. You you automatically, this if this is levels like in sports, okay, we can respect, man, he had a good career. He was five, but he ain't a Hall of Famer. Is that- well, How you feel about it, um, the yeah. other guy? What's it, what's it gets it? You part of it too? Which, listen, man, I don't even want to bring up Whitsit. I interviewed him too. And he, like I said, these guys kicking ass. Jaron kick ass. Bob Noto kick ass. The, the fucking, the whole thing is when the big time cameras are rolling. And guess what? When folks say we're well, they agents, I'm going to tell y'all some real shit while I'm giving them the benefit of the doubt. When you know that this shit is your big time spotlight moment, a lot of people ain't built the same for that. You got right. You got some players that are go in during the regular season and they suck during the playoffs. No, you're right, Sanchez. That's a perfect analogy to say that for real, though. Under pressure, everybody can't handle that pressure for real. You're right about that. But you think they fumbling like that? Like, they, they do it so much? It, it, yeah, it's, it, 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 it's, it's... If you do it so much, you're, that's like you shooting free throws in practice all day. You get in the game, you can't make one free throw. It's just like, did you have an off game or are you really trying to throw the game? Which one is it? It's a fine so it's line. Like, yes, yeah, it's a fine line. Yeah. Yeah. 
for real. Like we, we look at it from all different aspects, you know, like even from like uh sports to music. It's just like, bro, like we don't rehearse this bitch like like five times before we even went on stage and you're gonna you're gonna mess it up right in the middle of the show. Mm-hmm. Nah, for real. Now nah. Sanchez, like right now, if we get Sanchez to where we want him at and he and he dropped the ball, we gonna be like, man, what the hell going on? Like hell no! Everybody put man. I put every dollar in my pocket on Sanchez. Dude, you if feel me? if if Sanchez is on a mainstream spotlight and I don't rise to the occasion, the kind of community I got flat power. Oh, I'm gonna get DP. I'm gonna get crucified. <laughs> I'm gonna really get. And guess what? I like real, that man. pressure though in my community because guess what, man? I get to put it on other people saying flat power. Like when you go right. into a debate on a big channel. Man, you better represent. That's why I nah, made that sure. gang analogy. What? That when a when a gang, it's easy to be a gangster in your territory, but go to oh, the yeah. other other hood, and you, you still gonna represent. Because if you yeah. don't, you gonna get DP in your shit. Yeah, you know, and you ain't abroad. A lot of people ain't abroad. They can't go everywhere and just you know do the same thing they do. And when they when they in their own neighborhood, they comfortable. They they feel like they, they're a superhero. You get outside that board around, they start tucking their tail. So, yeah, you're right. And it's not, no show, though. That pressure bust pipes, man. Like, you pressure yeah. bust pipes, man, basically. And hey, I think the some, biggest thing... Uh-huh. I, think, yeah. I think the biggest thing is, like, uh, as D. Marble like mentioned... It. D Marble mentioned in his video that that dude that was his laser that wasn't D Marble's laser but that was somebody's laser and they got together on a weekend I remember it being being like uh Friday going into Saturday watching uh the experiment I thought Jerry said they they took they clipped the camera and made the camera made him look bad Oh no I'm talking Didn't about he... uh, D Marble's experiment the dude that helped him uh do the uh over the water test at uh, 10 miles, uh, that that wasn't his laser. That was some dude's laser. I mean, maybe we should get to talking to whoever that dude was and get yeah. a laser. And, and, and I'm going to tell you something right now. I don't think that shit 20 racks, man. Like, we don't, that's overkill, right? Like, I know we can get a laser that's going that distance in 2024. These lasers have gotten better and cheaper. Like, that was what, yeah. Mean. Or, or at least you know somebody with a laser for hire. <laughs> right there we go. That's all we need. And shout out to D Marble. That's all we need. The the lake in my joint is Lake Mead. What if we had a a, a joint where we can probably fund a laser for hire and and the flat earthers that want to participate can do it in their city at the biggest lake near them. All bring yeah, me they do that. And yeah, give me your footage. We all put it together, and I make one video. Flat Earthers prove with lasers in they cities. Everybody go to their lake, and boom. Yeah, hell yeah, that's that's a good one. I'm, I'm gonna I'm write that down. It. We gotta look into yeah, rent. Write it down right now. Yeah, how how we gotta rent the lasers and shit. What's the lake you buy, Retton? I'm 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 on the East Coast, so I'm by. I can use the uh, Port Raw Sound. Because I'm right by the Anna Coastal Runway by Hilton Head Island and the beaches right there. So I'm right by nothing but water. Port Raw Sound, Broad River. Like, I, I, on my countryside, when I walk out my yard, I got Broad River right there. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Bro, Broad you in right South there Carolina? Atlanta Coastal Runway. Yeah. I live in Atlanta, oh, but need, South Carolina. Because if y'all have to drive a little bit to the to get to the big the biggest one and y'all every I give y'all the gas money and all that and shit. Nah, you so. ain't got to worry about that. Uh, whatever, whatever you trying to do, I, I'm, I can go half with you. Whatever you want to, however you want to do it. I'm trying to support. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I'm trying to help. Whatever it takes to do what we gotta do, I'm trying to be a person to help too. You feel well, what, what I'm saying? What, like, what, what I'm gonna do? I don't do, need nothing from you. I'm gonna be the, for me. I'm gonna be well. Here's what I'm gonna do, Rhett, and I'm gonna be the first one to lead by example, and I'm gonna look up in it, the laser companies in my city and see if I can go and do mine at Lake Mead. And once I get mine done, I'm gonna make it the prototype to show everybody, you know, what I did, how to do it in their city. And then you just give me, they're gonna, you know, send me their footage when they done, and we're gonna yeah. have a viral video, bro. I'm gonna put the fucking. It's gonna be. I'm gonna edit it and shit. Yeah. It's gonna be yeah. fired. I, if I can get five people, that's all we need at five yeah. big all lakes. Right. You know what I'm saying? All right. Count me in. Yeah. Hey, send me an email if y'all if we got flat earthers that's interested in us doing a 2024 
laser test with five different flat earthers, including myself. So that means six total. And well, yes, five plus me. And then if you buy a big lake, preferably we it, you can't be by a lake that don't debunk the globe. It got to be enough miles to where it debunks it. Which I'm gonna give you all that when I do my numbers and shit. I can give you that now, actually. Um, the lake has to be released. Um, it got to be shit. At least ten. It, it, at least ten ten miles wide. At least ten miles wide, and or you can't participate, unfortunately. But we appreciate your interest. No, we got, I'm, I'm gonna do yeah. it from Broad River. This is going to be a far way to bring the spring back in for Flat Earth. I'm excited about this shit, especially if it's, I hope it ain't an arm and a leg to rent the laser. That's why we got to rehearse that shit, because if they rent by the hour, we don't want to be out there on the clock and get in and get out, because this is a simple-ass experiment. Um, and we're going to just copy it the way D. Marble did it. And then and we're how, gonna, much it, how much it was for the laser? What's the name of the lady talking about? Look it up right now. I'm, I'm going to look it up, too. I'm going to ask D. Marble, too, what the hell kind of label that is. I'm going to actually uh, dedicate our video to his since he was the first one to do it. We're going to dedicate and put the link to this channel and his experiment and shit. Yeah, shout out to D. Marble, man, putting yeah. in the work, doing the real experiments, man. Real so. talk. He, he got me hitting the field. Now, Johnny, come lately. <laughs> Damn. But yeah, it's gonna be fun, man. I get to goddamn get out in the field and do some besides shoot at a fucking gun target. Like I go out nah, in the field. You've been killing yeah. shit though. You've been killing shit in the bait, so they ain't, ain't nobody want to see you. Nobody want to hit the link. So just might as well go ahead and get on the field. Shit. Yeah, man. Right, man, you're a player coach now. They got you a player coach. Yeah, right. Jersey, because back on, because right? they, they really didn't put no respect on my nigga D Marble's name. And I ain't gonna lie, the community was divided up. And like Adam G said, he's a black man, and that comes from a white man. That's my brother Adam G, and he's a real one. So, yeah, and I agree with him. Yeah, hey, shout out to Rom Ham Solo. He said, Flat motherfucking power got my camo hat and two shirts on the way. Use it for the funds. Man, let me drop a bomb. Hell yeah. I got a, uh, a, a, I'm actually going to get me a camo hat out to this stream. You just reminded me. And I got a flat earth watch on the way that I designed. Now, when the flat earth watch get here, if it look good and all that, then I'm going to have them available for y'all. Um, leather band is supposed to be all it. It got the AE map behind it. And uh, it's just dope, man. It's dope. So, yeah, salutes, Rom Ham. Thank you so much for your support and everything you do for that motherfucking power. <laughs> salutes to the panel that we got right now, man. We got some real ones. That And hey, listen, man. I hope Jaren don't look at this like some sort of... Yeah, like, man, I don't know how soon... I don't know how yeah. soon you'd like to get that started and stuff. I mean, uh, I'm going to be honest. My, my life is, uh, kind of torn apart right now. Uh, just yeah. lost my left arm about three weeks ago. So yeah. like I'm going, yeah, bro, I'm going through the, uh, healing process and, you know, for everybody out there, uh, don't drink and drive. You know what I mean? Man, I'm sorry strong, to hear that, man. man. Black power, Adam G. Yeah, stay strong, bro. Hell yeah, man. Appreciate you, that. Adam G is a soldier, man. Yeah, man. Much love, and, and we definitely got you in our meditations. We don't say prayers. We got you in our meditations. True that, man. I mean, uh, like I said, I don't know how like soon you'd uh, you'd get that started, but it definitely it definitely does sound fun. Uh, you know, like on a you know, it's it's however you want to schedule it out, man. I mean, like, bro, once you get that laser and the dude, it's uh, it's pretty much, it's pretty much like you know, we walk out here and we are going to prove this shit all in one take. You know what I'm saying? Yep. You know what? I need 
rat and if you look up somebody in your area that do the lasers, then put me on game. Um uh, until then, I got to look up D Marble because I just can't look up lasers in Las. It's a certain kind of laser that they're. Oh damn it! I'm tripping. It's in the fucking video title now. Damn it! I'm dumb for that. <laughs> I'm dumb for that, man. It's in the fucking video title. Damn it! It is a ten mile Puget Sound laser. It is a, okay, Puget Sound Laser. Puget Sound Laser. Uh, I'm going to put rent. I'm just going to do some real shit. Rent Puget Sound Laser, Las Vegas. Oh. Uh, okay. Wait a minute now. Hold on. Y'all want me to screen share with you? Let's see. Okay, so. Hopefully my panel can see this. Maybe this is yeah, like some, something that we're. It says here to rent it for. It's $100 a day. That's easy, bro. Because guess what? To the most, you shouldn't be out there no more than two days. Like, this is literally a one-day experiment. I see why. Like, ain't no excuse for us not to do this one. This is literally a $100 experiment. Because ain't no need. If Because I'm thinking you rent it by the hour. If you telling me I got this thing for the whole day, oh, I don't need nothing but a day. I swear I don't need nothing but a day at the lake. And we got all the shots I need to get. In fact, we don't need but a few hours, two hours, three hours at the lake. And I'm coming back editing my motherfucking footage. You know what I'm saying? Like, this video is literally seven minutes. Like, that's how quick this experiment is. So, and they letting you rent the laser for the day. That's dope, because it ain't about an hour. That'll kill a nigga. Yeah, man, I'm going to actually show them the video of D marbles and see if they labors get lasers got the capability of doing this kind of experiment. And I'm going to just experiment, man, with different laser companies. They go one right here. Oh no. See what I'm saying? They got facial laser and shit. Like that's why I'm saying I put in Puget sound laser, but I don't know, man, they got a, maybe that, what I just went to ain't really what we need. This look like some shit you mount on top. See what I'm saying? So I don't know, like D Marble didn't just go to somebody and just like I'm doing and rent a, he knew somebody who had one, I'm thinking, because rent one of them seemed very, like, I don't know, I'ma just have to look into it, man, and even see about how much they costing and shit. But yeah, we gonna try to make it happen. Because if I'm going to get a bunch of people to do it, then that's just only going to make it more money for them people to have to go do it. Like, you know, but I hope it, I hope it's fairly easy. Seems like it. Hey, to the, uh, to the other dude that's in uh, South Carolina, I was thinking about Lake Murray, man. You, you talking about a broad river, like, uh, what are you going to do? Like, uh, shoot the laser up the river. What I would do, I would go to the widest parts of the lake when I separate me and somebody with a camera, and I would try to um, aim my laser directly at the fucking camera lens. That's going to be hard to do. You know what I right. mean? Right, get get the tracking right. Let the laser hit you. Let the laser hit like a a, a target board that's behind you. Because uh, yeah. everything's gonna be done like pretty much on like a ten foot basis. You know what I'm saying? If we hit if we hit that target from ten miles, fifteen, or anything like that, whatever the laser can project, if it's hit if it's hitting that target, it's a W. No magical bendy yeah. water. 
That is a W. That's facts, and that's a fact about the board to uh, get our spot and pinpoint our spot down. Facts. We can do this, man. I'm confident now. We got bright minds uh, gaming us, too. If we have any problems, we can hit up Jaronism. We can hit up um, D-Marble. And I'm going to say, like, Jaron, and let me just say, okay, somebody said, look up if you can find and buy a used one. Yeah, hey, check it out, right? I'm going to check into how much is a Puget Sound laser. And guess what, yo? If we get the laser on behalf of donations, what we will have to do is, is, is get people to who want to be part of this, sign up or whatever, and I ain't going to lie, we can mail that motherfucking laser to each person. And mail it back to me. Fuck buying a laser per person. And we can do that shit. I trust the people that they'll mail it around. Ain't nobody trying to steal the laser. That You know, I, I mean, maybe that sound crazy to y'all. But, uh, hey, we can have a pass around with that motherfucker. Everybody that's by a big lake, hey, we finna mail it to you next. You do your experiment. Boom. You gonna have one nigga like, man... I got robbed for the laser. He set that shit up, y'all. Nope. <laughs> I'm just fucking nope. with you. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> no, I know what you mean, man. Like, you know, it's like we'd be passing the blunt around and everything. Yeah. Said, this time we passing the laser. <laughs> yeah, man. Pass the laser around. Be puff, puff, pass. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. And, uh, I don't know. Make that a make that a big thing. Cause, uh, I think there's a bunch of people that, that like do have uh, flatter channels that are like coming up. So like you know maybe that maybe because of like what you're doing, you get them on board, and then it becomes a viral thing of proving the fucking Earth is flat over and over with laser tests over water. And it's yeah. like how many times we got to tell y'all? Because <laughs> <Yep. laughs> you remember uh, we we should really dog out that uh, you remember. Um, Shit, I think it was about like two and a half years ago. Uh, that footage of Stephen Hawking in the helicopter. That bullshit. Yeah, man. <laughs> I'm going to pull it up. Yeah, man. Because that, uh, yeah. that's, that's kind of in the same light as all these experiments. Yeah. I remember that. I forgot about it, though. Steven. Yeah, that was a um, that was on Discovery Channel, man. You do that, that's, a, that's, a, that's, a, that's dropping a grenade on Discovery. Right, I had reviewed it when it first happened, but we got to review it with this one because um um that experiment that Stephen Hawking did, once we play our laser joint after that, it's gonna debunk it real good. Let me see Stephen Hawking experiment. Um mm -hmm. before he died. Uh Okay, Stephen Hawking laser experiment. Damn, they they you can't even find that shit. Let me see. Let me Google it. But yeah, his shit and our shit can't both be true. So we know he full of shit. Right, and then you uh th then you send the footage to World Star. <laughs> as an attack on them like just go ahead and drop the bomb on them as no a rebuttal saying. to the video I bet you and, and listen you know what's so deep about what you just said Adam if we was to do this experiment now they said you gotta pay world star to get on there now let's go down here see they got all these damn hit pieces about flat earth right now, we go to fucking work. Let's go all the way down. Submit video. So right here. So it ain't no paid submission. Thank you for submitting. Please include the boom, boom, boom by submitting. Boom, boom, boom. So you don't even got to pay like people saying you pay them. And that's ba maybe back in the day. But the crazy thing about Worldstar, they... You, how do we? They got a very in, unequal way of what videos they choose to put up there or not. So we can give it a try. We can, I'm a, we can submit the marble experiment on here. I bet you they won't put it up. 
they only going to put the shit up that make flat earth look bad. And don't forget that the symbol of world star is a five-pointed star, which is the devil shit pentagram for whatever that's worth. But anyway, because think about it. What is the world star? It is the star of the world, which is the, the god of this world is Lucifer which is the five-pointed star. It's the star of rim fan. Can I do a minute? The, 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 can I do this real quick, y'all? Can I do yeah, it man. real quick? That, that pinnacle, it. that five points. If you look at World Star logo, it is a devil trident, and you got the colors red, black, and white for Satanism. Yep, let me go and show you who they are. You got the five-pointed star right there which is the devil symbol because that's the star of the world which is the the devil star the star of rim fran the pentagram that the s that you see right there yeah that's satan world star is this and, and if you look at the energy behind world star is all satanic energy when you scream world star world star what's going on evil every time this is energy, vibration, and all that shit. Symbolism. Now check it out. Of course, they're going to be against the truth. They're going to definitely be against the truth. You see what vibe they on. Let me show you what they're about. This is the same hip-hop boule cabal operating on a different fucking platforms. The same Jabari type five percenter type as anti flat earth, but you you so ancient with all your bambada, your dashikis and shit on, but you ain't ancient cosmology though. Boule ass, Greek ladder shit. I know the energy that I'm up against. That's why I chose to fight back against it right here on this channel with World Star. But just to show you, we submit the truth on this channel, it ain't gonna get there. It ain't going to get there, man. You ain't going to be able to get on. None of this stuff. We can try it, though. You can try it. But, yeah. A Puget Sound Laser. I'm trying to look it up, man. And um, it don't seem like it's that expensive. About 200 I don't know if this is it or not, but I think it is. It looked like the same color laser that D. Marbonum had, but I, I'm gonna just get. I may need to just, like I said, get with him to be sure before I spin anything. Get the Timu version or something. <laughs> you said I shouldn't be sleeping on that Timu man. Nah, man, it might be legit, man. Nah, man, we ain't gonna get that T move. If you're gonna do it, then you got to do it right. I don't give a fuck about the goddamn price. I don't know what I would do if I didn't get y'all motherfucking donations. <laughs> I'm just playing. I'll go my ass to work. Thank y'all. I love doing this shit every day. And I get and I make good content, god damn it. Shout out to my truckers, man. Yo, I'm really fucking with this laser test though. My only problem is what kind of laser we need and how much. That's it. After that, that's easy to rest getting out to the lake with the camera and all that and doing the whole and lining it up. And 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 like and this is the most damnable experiment out there, bro. I'm talking about when it come to beating up on the globe. Don't nothing do it like this laser test if you ask me. If you ask me, this is the most powerful flat earth experiment you can do for the price that it costs and the amount of evidence you're going to present when you're done. The, the damning uh, effect that you're going to get. What y'all think, uh, my brothers on the panel? I think this, our, this should be like our bread and butter type test for flat earth type shit. I don't think it get more... Because it ain't that complicated, neither. 
You go on that side with a camera, I go on this side with the laser. We can just watch this video and copy this shit right here. This is so dope. That laser is so fucking dope, bro. Let me show y'all this. Talk up. Look, that's now that's a laser. That shit going all. Look at the distance, bro. That's flat water, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, hands down. This is the best test for proving flat earth. Best test yet. Nah, man, we just got to go by what them Greek pedophiles told us, man. You know what they say. Yeah, I forgot, man. You know, they know, it, all, it, they know all the experiments. They already did it. You, you know what you just reminded me? Who are we to think that we can do an experiment? We ain't the experts. We ain't the damn experts. What are we doing, man? Disregard. You, you just reminded me, right. Because I'm telling you right now, when you debunk the globe with undeniable shit like what we doing here, then the only thing they can say is, you ain't an expert. Because in their mind, it's something you did wrong. It's something that got to be off. But if you do that same experiment and make a mistake and, and it actually look like it's debunking flat earth, then, oh, you did it right then. Oh, you flat earthers did it right then. You see what I'm saying? We did it right when we make a mistake or, or, or like this on this one when it proves your point. We did it wrong, though, when it's undeniable proof of our point, and you won't deal with that. They won't even argue, make a rebuttal on this. Where's Stephen Hawking little bullshit-ass experiment at? Hold on. That bullshit. Watch this. They talk about Stephen Hawking died. That nigga wasn't even a human. That nigga was a fucking robot. I don't care what nobody say. That's um, the original AI, man. Yeah, hell yeah, that nigga was a robot. They just turned that nigga off. Where are we? My name is Stephen Hawking. I believe that anyone can answer Do you believe that I was actually in you saying that stuff, or do you think that was like a remote control type of thing, if you know what I'm trying to say? That nigga was just a little bit of drone body. <clears throat> pro pro Professor X type shit. And it was a nigga from a remote location using that nigga's body. Nigga, I, I, I'm so deep. I'm so fucking weird in my thinking. I believe in that all of these humans we see ain't really like us. Like inside of your body, there's something called a soul, a consciousness. That's the real version of you using your body as an avatar, like a vehicle to explore this world. I'm saying everybody that we see ain't a soul, but everybody is a body, meaning you a meat package, you're an avatar, you a vehicle, but everybody doesn't have a soul inside of that body. But each body does walk around, it moves, it simulates emotions. My soul is organically doing that. But some of these bodies aren't humans. They're mankind, meaning they don't have a soul in them. They have a remote controller. It's somebody with a remote control somewhere using that damn drone as an avatar, as a vehicle, like in the movie Avatar. That's true for mankind. But for us man or us souls, organic beings, we ain't using our body from a remote control, projecting ourselves into a drone. We're literally inside of our body, like a, a astronaut in an astronaut suit. There's a we're home. Like, is anybody home? Yep. There's a soul in this body. Thank you. And is anybody home? Nope. There's no soul present. I don't even feel. You know how when you knock on something that's hollow, you can hear it that is empty. Versus if you knock on something that's filled up with something, it don't got that hollow sound. That's like vibration with man and mankind. That sound is a frequency. It's a feeling, too. So when I get around a, a, a mankind drone, I don't feel nothing. 
But when I'm in a room with a person that's actually a soul inside of that body, oh, I can feel they fucking energy field. They vibe around them. Before I even walk up to them, I can feel it when I'm approaching them. But like a mankind, you feel nothing. It's like walking up to metal or plastic or anything like that. Because somebody controlling that with a remote, they ain't really in that body. So how about like animals like dogs and cats and things like that? Do you think that they have a connection to a similar soul or do you think it's like a separate kind of kind of connection? I think that just like what's happening with humans, you can have this is happening in the animal species, too. So you can have a pet in your house. That's a drone that's spying on you and you think you in love with this animal. And, and just like we got organic humans and, and inorganic humans, like I said with humans, I'm saying that's true for even insects and animals. So, yes, right, one, right. one of your dogs can be mankind, and you may have a spy within your ranks, and I got a bunch of dogs. I think about that shit all the time. People may say, boy, you crazy. <laughs> no, man. No, you absolutely. I've heard crazy stories, too, but go ahead, go ahead. Like, like when, when, uh, when your dog's barking and you tell them to shut up and they don't shut up and you give them that look and then they're, and then they take their gaze and they look away first. You just, you just did the lion technique on them, man. That's crazy. <laughs> For real. Yeah, you, you know what I mean? Like, uh, the, the lion, the lion ain't going to avert his gaze at all. Like, like if, if you look away first, like e even with, uh, have y'all ever watched, um, like animal planet when, <laughs> When the uh, when the people are talking about the lions, but they live amongst the lions and everything, and they're saying like, "All right, now what I'm gonna do is avert my gaze a little bit to let him know that he is king of the territory." <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like uh -huh. when you give your when you give your dog that look and they don't look away, bro, it is on. <laughs> it is yeah. on. I mean, like I, I got facts. dogs too. I, I do. I do it with the dogs, with the cats, and everything. I give. I give them that look. I guarantee you're gonna look away first. <laughs> I might have about, a mankind uh, dog, then, man. But uh, about um, but about like humans and stuff, man. Yes, there are soulless entities on autopilot, and they walk amongst us every day, man. Like literally, like zombies. You know, they they laugh at unfunny shit. They watch the dumbest of fucking TV shows. And like, we're always wondering like, why do y'all like watch all this trivial shit for fucking nothing? You know what I mean? Like you're literally wasting time. And like, yeah, I'd rather be reading. I'd rather be playing an instrument. I mean, like I lost my arm. Now I got to figure out how to play fucking lefty. Once I get my prosthetic, you know what I'm saying? Like I ain't stopping for shit, but like y'all literally out here, like settling for less, like watching, you know, goddamn Jeopardy or fucking like whatever on repeat. And like, it's just like, bro, where are y'all at in y'all's minds like right now? But yet y'all still tell people to watch TV when you chill out. And it's like, bro, this is not how I chill out. I'm probably smoking weed and playing instruments and putting mm -hmm. on a documentary or reading a book. Like literally like this is how I think this is literally how all of us are, man. Like <laughs> at least yeah. most of the people on this channel. I mean, there's a reason why you're here. Because I'm here, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Yeah, so I don't, gee, I just, I just want to say, man, like, you know, you can really use what happened to you, and I'm not trying to speak out of out of sorts or nothing, but what happened to you really did happen for a reason, and uh, just by you saying that, man, that's I'm at a point where I'm really trying to find motivation, man, and what happened to you makes me think, man, like what I'm going through ain't shit, man, you know, and. Yeah, like you can really use what happened to you as a big motivation to people, and the fact that your attitude is like, man, I'm, you know, I'm gonna learn how to play lefty, man. Like, you know, maybe you know things really happen for a reason. And again, I'm not trying to come sideways when I say that. Like, I really mean that. No, like, that's facts. Good, you know, it's you really, good. you really, mo you really I'm a, motivate I'm gonna tell me you now, something. man. Like, I was thinking real. about that in my mind, yo, but I didn't want to bring it back up. But every time, just his spirit here. It's crazy because when I lost my two fingertips, I was kind of depressed. And then when they picked them up off the ground with the bone in them and shit and was like, I found the other one, you know. And to this day, and I, you know, when I wear rings and shit and I see my deformed hand, but think about it. It's people that lost more than you and they in a battery. Like, that's why I told Adam, I mean that. 
He's a soldier. Bro, I been, mean that I've shit. Been, He's strong, man. I've been told the same thing, man. I don't got it out. My 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 brother's in the mi- military. Amen to him. He uh he uh, I don't want him to see you know any frontline combat other than the the last shit that he was in. Uh, and uh, he and yeah, he made it out. Of, he made it out of that. And um. But yeah, man, I was sitting in the fucking hospital bed. I was looking at him. He was looking at me and he was like, Adam, you're not. He's like, the arm is not you. He's like, it was just a part of you. You got to let it go. I was like, yeah. but man, we used, I used to wrestle you with this motherfucker, bro. Yeah, like, man. I, like, God damn it, man. <laughs> man, I love it's you, dope. Adam. I ain't going to lie, bro. I fucking love you, bro. I got to tell you that, man. Real talk. I'm going to tell you Much some love. shit, bro. Um. It's amazing. I want to ask you a question, Adam. Um, did they uh, recommend that you go through some kind of like mental therapy? Because they did with my fingertips, so I know they probably did with your situation. Yeah, man. They're uh, they're telling me to do a, a bunch of stuff, but uh, man, to be honest, like I mean, the way the way that my body feels and how jarred up I am and stuff like that. Like I, I get up, I do my night walks because, like, you know the the fucking pain won't really let you sleep. So like, I'll always be like on YouTube or something like looking around, like, I mean, I can't sleep anyways because of the pain and crap. And then the meds, they, the, you know, they come in on time when, when they come in, but you know, I, I get sleep or fucking whatever, but like mo- mostly like I'm up walking around trying to get back to my, my normal self, which is actually quite athletic. I ain't going to fucking lie to you. <laughs> once I, once I get back to my, my full body and, and stuff like in my mind. And then, um, of course, once I get my prosthetic arm, that's going to be fucking badass. Can't wait for that. Yeah. Um, it's, yeah, it's, 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 it's a, it's a, it's an uphill climb, man, but that, that it really ain't stopping anything. Like it hasn't like, bro, you know me from live streams before, man. <laughs> like It's literally, it's literally not stopping anything really yeah. for real. That's for real. So man, Adam, real talk. You can take your situation, like that brother said, man, you will have a huge following. Like, you can make a one-minute short on, hey, boom, boom, and just, it's crazy. Like, I know you probably, it's different from us on the outside looking in, but I see a lot of motivational content like that online, and it really, like, man, you just don't know. I'd be on here for six hours. And, and and it'll be one situation like yours in just a minute that'll make a person realize, wait a minute, I should be thankful. I should be, you know what I'm saying? Like, you really is a blessing, man. Not to say that, that you know, everything happened for a reason. Oh, I'm just no, saying, no, no, you know. True, man. No, it's 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 all good. I mean, like we we can all talk here. It's it's cool, and I and I'm cool. I'm literally I'm cool about it. But um. I, I did have a thought of like, you know, starting a YouTube channel for like, you know, like uh, people that still want to play music, but they're amputee yeah. and stuff like that. Cause there's a, there's a whole, there's a whole bunch of different like type of amputees and they're not trying to, uh, you know, steal the whole conversation and all that. Nah, but like, man, this is, this it's was just up. like, I, 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 I do still play drums. I mean, like even my sons, they, they get in the drum set and everything. And like, you know, like their, their beats are just, Oh my God, I'm try, t- trying to tell these kids how to make some beats. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And I'm, I've only yeah. got one arm, but I'm sitting here like fucking, you know, dubbing it down, like for real. <laughs> and then I, I'll hand, I'll hand them the sticks and then they yeah. get on and it's just like, Oh God, here we go. <laughs> and You know what I just thought about, man? Hearing Adam G's story, it make me kind of say, "I'm this going to sound crazy, but I'm not really, hmm. Okay, let's talk about transhumanism. Because Adam's getting a prosthetic arm, but what I'm saying is, what if prosthetic arms get so good where he damn near can restore his arm with some kind of merge with stuff? I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, man. You you're, know? you're absolutely right. Yeah. Let's take it to transhumanism. Um, I was sitting in the hospital bed thinking about like diodes that could go on my arm that could like freaking read my electrical current because like I had a had a buddy who was still a guitarist. Uh he he came in and you know, he was uh, you know, playing for me and everything, and it just felt good to have music by the by the bedside and everything. And um 
I mean, that was good in itself. And he got to talk and he was just like, Adam, I just don't think that, uh, you know, that technology is ever going to be able to replicate the human hand. And I was just like, oh, man, don't say that, because my thoughts are like, you know, how do I, how do I reconstruct this? How do I reconstruct my right arm and make it my left? I'm already thinking about like gore movies and uh, like mm-hmm. fake hands and stuff like that and how to how to attach it to my own and kind of like uh rep- replicate uh uh statically uh what the the human arm uh represents and does so that way i yeah. can you know play drums and guitar and shit and i'm i'm thinking about that crap just laying in there in the bed but glad i'm out the hospital Whew, god that took a second but uh <laughs> no nah, that's, that's you, you know that's what i mean dope. but yeah, but like like transhumanism, bro, that is exactly where it's going because uh from just looking at YouTube and Google about all right, so America and Europe are totally different as far as like when it comes to um amputees and uh bionic arms, bionic legs and stuff like that. People in Europe, they really don't give a fuck. Like they'll they'll put like this is the major surgery that's the big difference between America and Europe is putting the titanium arm uh, or a titanium rod in a limb because it's kind of like gauges in the ear. Like you got you to clean that stuff or else like it could get infected. And that's yeah. the reason why it's not popular here in the U.S. But you go to you go to Europe, they're all about it. So, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So that it's different across the water than it is here. Uh, it's it's kind of outdated. They seem a bit primitive here. Like the medical field here kind of advanced a little bit quicker than Europe, if I'm not mistaken. And that's why, in my theory. Yeah, in my opinion, I, I literally think Europeans just don't give a shit. Like, they're just like, oh, that's the surgery that it takes? <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> sign me up. <laughs> just sign me hey, up. <laughs> you sound about right, man. The EU is horrible. If we think, you know, yeah, that. They are horrible, man. You know, they were throwing their shit in the middle of the street. So, hey, you know, they don't give a shit. But, um, <laughs> you know. So, but I will say, I wouldn't mind Adam having some kind of fire-ass, high-tech, you know, prosthetic arm. And, it, and it'll be close enough. That, that yeah. You, you play the guitar, you say, Adam? You like the guitar? Yeah, man. Uh, unfortunately, the uh, the arm that I'm looking at that uh, I guess is going to be the most uh, fundamental in my life is called the hero arm. You can uh, you can you can Google it. Uh, it's uh, the most affordable arm that's out there. So like, that's what I'm trying to get to. So I mean, like, I I'm good and everything. Like, I, I know I'm going to get it eventually. Uh, you know, like, cause I'll be slinging it. I'll be slinging the green, if you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah, I'm not too. I'm not too far from it. <laughs> oh yeah, the he. Let me see. Let me pull it up. The hero. Um, it's by OpenBionics.com. Mm. Mm-hmm. And that and that's just and that's just one. That's just one manufacturer. There, there are people here in Columbia, South Carolina, that are actually doing uh prosthetics and making uh bionic arms as well. This is so. Dope. Yeah, man. This is what. Yeah. Wow. Look at that. That is dope. Now, see, when it comes to this is what I'm talking about. Like if we using see all this Neuralink stuff that nah, nah, but I ain't going to lie. How, I can't really hate on this, though. If I had somebody that that needed this, this would be a, a real look at this. It's a real breakthrough, bro. I remember when prosthetic arms was just like for cosmetics for real. They didn't really when functional, you know. Damn. Dude, yeah, yeah. And, and and that's just that's just the hero arm. There are people out there that are making them look exactly like your arm. Color color and everything. Like almost like you can never tell that you're missing an arm. <laughs> that is excellent, yo. Thank you, Rom Ham, for the donation. She said, get that nunchuck attachments, be badass. Y'all, I got to get ready to get up out of here, man. I'm glad we ended on this energy, though, because we was beating up on the globe and stuff, but we get to end on some motivation, inspiration. Uh, it's because I got stuff to do. But I'm going to um, 
I mean, I ain't going to make no promises, but I will try to go live again on some of my other platforms because I do want to have Flat Earth and Globe Earth debates on my big channel soon and re, re, reignite the, the conversation, the shape of the Earth. You know, it's been a minute. Spring is here. And I want to come back and reintroduce in these laser tests and uh, may possibly reduplicate these experiments in 2024. But I need to look into it some more and get a hold of D Marvel. Salutes to everybody that hit the cash app and to everybody that hit the super chat. We are allowing people to join right now that did, that weren't able to speak, but I'm gonna let them close out. And that is D IC, Bobby Knight, and Rocky. Oh, my brother Roka hey, Bossy. Salute. What's good? Can you hear me, guy? For sure, Bobby, y'all y'all got the flow. Take the mic. Okay, for it. sure, for sure. Man, I, I just really had one quick question uh, about what y'all was just building on the prosthetic limbs and all of that, right? What what if um, if it get to the point where um, the prosthetics start to outdo uh, regular human limbs? Because I know that's kind of where you're going with the transhumanism, but isn't that why they, uh, why they kind of don't allow people with prosthetic limbs to compete in certain Olympic events like right now because you remember the dude Oscar, Oscar Pistorius they they disqualified him even though he was a double amputee but they said it gave him an advantage yeah I think eventually as we move on as prosthetics get better and better and um to the point where it's not a crutch or an assistance to my disability it's actually an upgrade to my uh, human limitations. Now we've crossed the threshold from healing to actually terraforming the human to some sort of superhuman cyborg. I think right. once once we cross that threshold, uh, people that have an advantage, they probably will have to form their own league. It probably will be a whole league. Oh, what if? But like when you're talking about transhumanism, right? Think about it. We already in that era, right? Like BBLs, fake, fake abs, and all right. that. I they know it's kind of like petty, right? Yeah. But it's like that's a that's like that's like grooming you into trans. Oh yes, yeah. right. Yeah. So oh, think yeah. about this, Sanchez. If if we a hundred years in the future and it's a nigga in the NBA that got a seventy inch vertical because he was a W amputee when he was a child, so he had to wear fake legs, right? What's to stop mm -hmm. me from saying, well, fuck it, cut my regular legs off and give me some of them. You, you, you feel what I'm saying? Like, yeah, that, that, that's, that, that's that what I, where people, right, I that's already, I already went over that verbatim. So look, that's the okay, whole agenda. Bad, Go ahead. Well, no, ain't no my bad. It, it's, part, just, my it's just so, and that's what I'm saying though. That's all they doing. Uh, that's why I said that the trans movement period is all the same movement, transsexualism transhumanism if you can transform yourself from being a man to a woman then you can transform yourself from being a human to a machine it's all the trans movement they're gonna start with hey you don't like the body you in you a man that really want to be a woman and vice versa we can help you with that and then it is going to go into hey you don't like the body you in because it can't jump that high or you can't uh you don't have this strength then we can help you with that too and transform you with and so it's all the trans movement period and they shouldn't it ain't that the trans movement is exclusive to the lgbtq it's that it's transhumanism period any way you're transforming a human falls under transhumanism whether it's a man becoming a woman a woman becoming a machine or a machine or excuse me a man becoming a machine any transformation you make that literally changes how you navigate through your lifestyle or it changes your species, so, so, so to speak, uh, then, yeah, that's because any kind of fusion would be a transformative experiment. In this case, human plus machine. But my thing is this right here. Uh, is it inevitable? Is it inevitable? I think... I think now we need to have a conversation about transhumanism under a new light based upon not being so 
anti it because think about it, right? I look at Adam's situation. A lot of people will say the dude with this uh, hero arm is sort of already some sort of transhuman, right? You got people that already say this is transhuman, right? Um, especially disguising it like a real arm. That would be like what I'm saying about the AI that can look like humans. And that would be just a mild form of that. You hiding a cyborg. Is Adam a cyborg if his forearm is merged with machine? Technically, yes. Yes. I, yes. I, I will. Yeah, I will. I will actually agree to that. You remember? Yeah. Um, I. It, it wasn't that long ago. Yeah, the the um the video about skin suits, mm -hmm. about how they uh, I, and I think it was Elon Musk talking about yeah we can totally upload you into a new body like or what were you before oh i was i was a fucking uh you know white guy like fucking five six you know and then they'll be like oh well what do you want to be and you're like oh fuck i don't know maybe the rock yeah i could be samoan and uh <laughs> you know you know mm -hmm. like it, it, yeah. it, it can go into a whole a whole different other thing but then think about those people that like you know they they want to cross into like being women and those are uh you know the 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 God damn it! The, uh, why am I having a brain fart? The uh, the drag wearers, uh, the the drag people. You know, like uh, you you give them the ability to fully like go from what they are into what they've always wanted to be. They'll 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 do it. Yeah, <laughs> you know and what I, I mean. I like think, I, I I think that right now this conversation, Adam, is proven. I need to have another conversation on transhumanism with a bit more open mind because I had to think about it when I see your situation. If my mother lost the arm, I would definitely be pushing for her to have this technology. So I think we need to be balanced with everything. And um, this another one of them things, because if I lost my arm, I would be into the hero on my damn self. But I do know a lot of woke folks that'll say, that'll look at this picture and say, see, this is transhuman. And I'm like, well, now I'm starting not to say that in such of a bad, like, ooh, transhuman. Maybe it's something we need to start accepting and realizing it ain't about transhumanism. It's about how much of it. There's like too much of anything can kill us. So I think I need to do a stream on this. This is kind of a deep bill. I never looked at it r real quick, like this perspective. But yeah, I want to say, yeah, go ahead. You bring us home, dude, Adam. I'm going to let you bring us home. Dude, true that. All right, all right. Uh, the, I guess the most paramount thing that I can say uh, was when I was talking to the doctor um, after the incident when I still had my arm attached to me. Um, I was looking at the x-rays and they were telling me like 60% of my elbow is gone. And then like a part of my like upper muscle is gone and stuff like that. And I'm looking at the x-rays like, okay, well, why can't I just get my fucking elbow rebuilt and stuff like that? So I was looking online and uh, it turns out it's uh, North Carolina and Texas that do uh, rebuilding and stuff like that. But then when I was talking to him, he was just like, okay, I need to tell you that uh, these surgeries and stuff that they're doing, uh, it goes into the human body uh, about metal and outside and foreign objects going into the body and the body itself will not accept it. And so and also in the time frame that I had, I had to choose amputation over saving uh, my arm because they had said that, like, yes, you can save your arm, but it'll only work at 30 percent of what an arm could do. And we'll have to take parts of the rest of your body to put it into your arm to make it work. And I was just like, God damn it. Those are so, such bad odds. I don't want to take away from the rest of my body and be hurting yeah. all over and everything. Yeah. So I was just like, all right, cut, cut the motherfucker off. Just, just cut it yeah. off. <laughs> you know, yeah, just, you just, made, you made the best decision. Cause now you're going to injure me more for, uh, 30 percent when if you cut it off they got technology now that'll damn near restore you with a uh arm like this damn near back to 50 percent like he holding that phone like that is like dude right yeah. right it's it's not it's not it's not the human arm but it's it's i would say they're about they're about 30 30 31 32 percent yeah 
uh, uh like at the max of what the of what technology is being shown and that all that i can see out there because there's there's no replication of the human hand so you know y'all uh y'all look at your hands and you know look look in amazement you know because uh they're, they're very beautiful and they're parts of your body and they're connected to you connected to the world and all of that and you know don't ever uh do anything that's in danger you know yourself or anybody around you and that's uh that's the best advice that i can give because you don't want to you don't want to be sitting there having that conversation about <laughs> about uh about whether or not you want to keep the damn thing or not cuz yeah. that's a that's never a good uh that's never a good situation and that's a uh, that's that's all I got to say on it. Hey Adam, if anything you ever need me to do to help email me behind the scenes and just holler at me whether it be YouTube or any anything, bro. And I'm gonna close out at um Appreciate y'all for joining and salutes to all of y'all brothers, man. I got to run. Peace and much love. Thank you for all the super chats, all the cash.